Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and I'm here. God damn it, I went to the intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, let's try that again. This is Blue Maxima, checking out Hyperdimension Hyper Neptunia PP. Wow, I can't talk today. Hyperdimension Neptunia PP, producing perfection. Also, haha, -ha, PP. So, what is this? This is a spin off of the Hyperdimension Neptunia games. Before I get into this, I want to point out that I have absolutely no exposure to Hyperdimension Neptunia as a thing. Nope, I just, I don't. I've never played it. Never played the ones on PS3. Of course, I will be playing the one on Vita when it comes out sometime this year. But this is my first experience with the Hyperdimension Neptunia series. Let's just go and have a look at some of these other options here before we go digging into the main mode. So this is just the options menu. This is pretty obvious stuff here. You can also change the system voice, because there are different voices you'll hear on loading screens and all that, and you can turn it all off if you want. I like that you can do that. Camera settings. And now we can go to the viewer. Oh, good lord. Oh, by the way, this is done vertically. I have no idea why this is done vertically, because nothing else in, the in this game is done vertically. It's just this. So yeah, I really don't understand. So, yeah, obviously they won't let you touch them in those places. And to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't figured out any other controls for this yet, other than using the buns to get a look at their cr crotch. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, we can also select other idols, and you unlock and you unlock different stuff for them as you go on, including accessories. You can change their accessories. And you can change you can change what they wear, and you get them throughout the game. It's not much. You can also use an alarm for some reason. I don't have an idea what that's about. And we can also use a sound test, but we won't bother playing with that. All right. So we've also got unlimited concerts, but. That is basically just playing the concert feature out in the main game, just with a few extra things on top. It's nothing really worth looking at, so let's just go have a look at Reducer Mode. Now, funny thing is, I've actually completed this mode. <laughs> Turns out you can complete it in like three hours if you're not particularly entranced with the voice acting, which I'm really not. You can finish the game in three hours, so this is... Whoops. I keep forgetting I'm on a Japanese system sometimes, and I have to use the circle button in these menus. So as you can see here... Noir event completion 38%. So this game is really meant to be played over and over again, but I really can't imagine playing it more than once. I just get so bored. Yeah, that's not a good start, is it? So let's hit let's just hit continue and I've I've gone into a second game with Vert. The first game I played um the first game I played was with Noir. And yeah, overall look isn't that positive. Alright, so this game is what's called an idol management sim. You usually don't see many of them in in English speaking territories. It's kind of odd that this is the very first one to actually get some attention, because this isn't a very good one. So what we've got here is stats and event completion. So as you can see here, I've completed 4% of events with her. I've gone like 30% with Noir. And we can also check the share chart. The share chart is what we want to actually be looking at, because once you have the highest share in-game, you you just you win, like, right? You just, get to, you just get an ending cutscene and that's it. Although strangely enough, there's a there's a 180 day time limit and a stress limit. If you get to 100 stress, as you can see in the bottom right there, or if you get to 180 days, the game ends. Although I finished the game in less than half that and I wasn't even trying. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that's about. So you've got two, a few th different things you can do here. You can go to work, which gets you more fans. And the more fans you get, the more share you get, the more share you get. The more, well, the more of a chance you have of finishing the game, obviously. You can also choose to do lessons, which increase your stats. I have no idea what the stats have to do with anything, to tell you the truth. Just, they're there, right? I guess they give you a higher chance of doing better in the, in the things, in the concerts, but other than that, I'm not sure. And you can also go to relax, which lets you talk to the other CPUs and get their uh, relationship meters up. If you get their relationship meters up, you'll get special events. You can also choose to bond with the CPUs. Yeah, don't even ask. Yeah, everything... Um, All the four main models in this game are called CPUs. And they have HDD modes. It's, 
It's all- this entire universe is basically just one big reference to the video game industry. Like, Vert here is a reference to the Xbox 360 and Microsoft line of products. Also, strangely enough, she has the biggest tits. I don't get why that is a thing. Don't- I don't- I don't even... Let's just go to work. So you've got all sorts of little different things you can do here. You can go do an ad campaign, an event, or a recording. We'll go do a recording so you can hear some of the voice acting. That went smoothly. Indeed. Plus, I am starting to get along with the person in charge. Well, that was boring. All right, so. Yeah, you get little increases in stats and little events every time you do some work. You get increases in stats every time you do some stuff. And every time you do something, obviously, it sends you to the next day. Oh, by the way, you press square and it skips the event that you're on. Unfortunately, if you press it by accident, which I have done once or twice because I'm kind of clumsy because this is actually being recorded on a slim unit. I'm still getting used to it. If you press square, you will skip all the way to the end and there's nothing you can do to stop it. So, yeah, enjoy that. So we'll go and do a lesson, we'll study, because study is actually a really good boost and you should do it as often as you can. So yeah, that's a pretty big boost to everything as you can see there. All the idols have like tiny differences in stats, but seriously, one day of studying will just like completely break those boundaries, so... You know... That's the game in general, like... Yeah, MOB48. For those of you who do not know what AKB48 AKB is, AKB48 is a idol group in Japan that is extremely popular and has 48 members in it. And it's kind of ridiculous, because they are literally just cash cows, or at least I think they are, that's what I've heard. But, yeah, the guys in this, the main enemies in this game are MOB48, which is an obvious... Can't even... There is a lot to do. Wink, wink, wink. So every now and again you get these little decisions to make. Uh, you can make whichever one you please. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. And considering you have to replay the game multiple times to get the best ending anyway. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like that. It reminded me of the joke in the IT crowd where Maurice... <laughs> Maurice... Moss picks up the Harry Potter Adult and Children's Edition just to verify there's no differences in the text. Still. I don't know what the stats have to do with anything in this game at all. And the guts system, you need... Like fifty percent guts. Okay, yeah, we're going. We're gonna do a concert. Guts is. I have no idea what guts is, but you need fifty of it to do a con concert, like once a week or something. Yeah. So you can understand the voice acting and all that. The main function of this game is fan service. I'll come and admit that right out the gate. The main function of this game is fan service, and... I mean, I've, I've never played Neptunia before, so I don't know if I'm missing a bunch of... bunch of references to something, but... Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's just skip the rest of this. Alright, so I'll schedule two days from now, so we can just... do some more stuff um, on the way. 
So we can go and do a... We can go and do a little bit of an interaction here. Might as well. This game is fan service. It's just outright fan service, and I feel like I'm missing something really important. It's just so... The game itself is so light, I can't help but thinking I'm missing something with the fan service. And the fan service in this game, I mean, like, look at those breasts! I, um, I never thought I'd say that. Look at those breasts and tell me this game isn't really about fan service. Alright, so yeah, you can get affection with uh, the idols as well, obviously. And we'll just skip the next day so we can get to the concerts. Just... Weekly game industry the fan... Oh yeah, you get these weekly rankings, but I don't think they have anything to do with anything. Also, I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of parodies in that. So feel free to... So yeah, just feel free to go back and pause those if you want to catch those references. But... It's just the game itself is so monotonous and dull that I really can't be bothered to... I really can't be bothered to play it more than once. It's so... tedious. Just going through these days over and over again, having to constantly skip this end day thing, having to constantly play around with stats. I don't know what that was about, I just skipped it. So we're gonna put on a concert. The concert is the most game-like area of this game, and even then it kind of fails to impress. So we're just gonna skip through all this. There's voice acting for most of this game's text, except for the producers, obviously. Voice acting's alright. I can't argue with it, but I imagine... I imagine that it's a lot better in the main game, so there's actually a story to follow. The main story in this game is just, like, getting everybody else below you in percentage, and that's it. It's really nothing worth going into. We can go into the tutorial, but I don't think I'll bother. So the idea is here we have stages. There's four different stages for the four different main idols, and then there's, like, th four more, as you can see down there. You've also got effects. There are all sorts of different effects here. Most of them, however, feel like they're completely useless at points, but I'll, ke I'll keep the spotlight. See, the confetti, audience glee plus 2% with 10 second cooldown time compared to pretty much anything else. I mean, look at this. It, you get the same thing for the same cooldown time. Why would you ever bother using confetti once you have something to replace it? I don't know. But, yeah. I'll explain this all later on. And we've also got songs. Unfortunately, there's only six of them. Yeah, there's only six songs in this game. And the problem is that... In this game, you can activate the idols what's called HDD mode only on their song and only when they're singing it solo. So you are going to be replaying the same song over and over again because going into any other song will lose you points, guaranteed. So it's a waste of goddamn time to play any other song than the one that's for your character. So yeah, you can come here and you just... Change the positioning of the character. I'm not sure what this is about, to tell you the truth. You can choose to invert the dance. I don't know if that does anything. Probably doesn't. And since this is actually the first thing, like the first part of the game that has a has a concert, like the very first time I had a concert in this game, I got the score perfect and I wasn't even trying. I don't know... Nipple. I never... I, I wasn't even trying, and I somehow managed to pull off a perfect, so there's a good chance we'll get a perfect in this as well. But really, it's extremely easy to pull that off, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Oh, and by the way, if you like watching Jiggle Physics, watch her chest. Trust me, the Jiggle Physics in this game are ridiculous. We're talking Dead or Alive level here, just by small dancing. Alright, so the concept begins. All these freaking things that I have no idea if they're a reference to Neptunia or not. They probably are. I'm probably being too harsh on it for that. Okay, let's go on. So the idea of this game is to... Of this part of the game... Is to rotate the camera and such around your idol. 
Do close-ups. Do other close-ups. And activate stage effects when it feels relevant. Unfortunately, I have no idea when this is actually supposed to be relevant. I don't know whether it's just me being musically retarded, but seriously, I have no idea when to actually activate these effects for the highest, well, effects. Down at the bottom right there, you see what I think is the score wheel? And the audience, uh, well, I don't remember what they called it, but it's basically their interaction. Once it hits 200%, you'll gain score the fastest. And as you can see, uh, the score wheel goes up the more you use these moves. There is, there are ways to, like, there are ways to absolutely perfect the game. Like these spotlight sections, uh, the spotlight concert sections, where you can get absolutely maximum score possible. Like here, let's just, let's just rub outwards on the, there we go. You have to rub outwards on the rear touchpad in order to activate this mode, which is kind of odd. The music itself is alright, but I mean, five songs, and you're going to be stuck listening to the same one again and again and again if you want to stand a chance of actually getting a good score at any point. Alright, so I got all the... all the points. Not that many, actually, but, eh, we'll, we get some... Oh, wow, I've got a, a pretty big lead in shares already. But that was a look at concerts, and... I really don't know what I'm doing with the concerts, because I don't know how I managed to get perfect straight away. And then end up... Just, like, I haven't gotten a single perfect song since. I, I really don't know what the deal is. So, basically, the game continues like that. You get all these little events, and you get all these little, uh... All these little bonuses and all that. But really, it's just playing numbers, and then... Just going into a concert, moving the camera around a little bit, and seeing what you can pull off with the score. Because the score seems really inconsistent for some reason. You can do the same thing twice, or at least it feels like you do, and you'll get more points on one run than you do another. It feel it's weird. It's really weird. The only thing this game's got going for is this fan service. The number crunching in this game is mind-numbingly boring. It's just so not worth anyone's time. It's a waste of effort. It's The thing is, it doesn't have any real difficulty to it, because I could probably speedrun this game in like an hour, and I could probably finish with at least a good ending. Everybody has at least two endings, I know that much, but I can't even be bothered going for one of them after the first time through. It's... Oh, man... If this is Nice's last work on the Hyper Dimension Neptunia series, this, they really went out with a whimper and not with a bang. It's kind of a shame, really. They published all the PS3 ones, and now, now Idea Factory International is going to be publishing all bloody five spin-offs. Jeez. So the concerts themselves just aren't that fun, because all you're doing is moving your camera around. You can change the camera to specific angles, but it won't do that much. Or at least if it does, I haven't noticed. I've done like 10 concerts and I just can't find what works. But yeah. Hyperdimension Neptunia PP is not worth it. The fan I, I don't even get the fan service, to tell you the truth. It's so mind-numbingly boring. Even the fan service isn't that good. It's... Again, I don't know if I'm missing something from Hyper Dimension Neptunia in general, but the fan service just isn't that great. I mean, the, the idea of a game based around the modern day games industry, except with girls with gigantic tits, is something I could really get into. No pun intended. But it's... This isn't the best way to start off. Actually, this isn't the best way of anything. I wouldn't recommend anyone buy this, to tell you the truth, except for the diehard Neptunia fans, because... You never know, they might change the... They might change the voice cast next time. Oh, by the way, no auto save. You have to remember to save manually. Also, for some reason, you can you see your status from here, too. I don't know what that's about. You can also check your tutorials and all that, make different saves. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone, guys. This is just... It's such a drag. It's just... 
I, I was playing this while playing uh, Betrayal of the House on the Hill with some friends yesterday, and I just... All I would do was pick the game up for a couple of days, put it back down, and I did not enjoy my time with it at all after, like, the first 45 days. It was just a slog. A slog of making numbers go up that seemed to have no relevance, doing concerts which seemed to have no relevance, or any real method of scoring that doesn't feel absolutely random. At least the presentation looks alright. I mean, that's a 3D model there. That's not 2D art, that's a 3D model. And that's a really good looking 3D model, by the way. Also, for some reason, it looks like there's a bloody transparency background on all the browns there. This is a Blue Maxima playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia PP. It's not worth it, guys. I'll see you all next time.